Hi there and welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra from Cezala DIY or Design and in this video I'm gonna share with you how I made a pattern for a midi dress with a square neckline and bishop sleeves. For this project I started with the basic blocks I modified to get the desired shape. Of course you can make your own adjustments. Ok, so let's start this project. First, I started with the bodice blocks. I redrew the bust points by intersecting the two middle lines of the dart and I cut it out the dart. I rotate the side part to close the bust dart after I cut on the previously marked lines. I drew a new middle line on the waist dart. I extended each line. I got down from the apex point 2.5 cm and I redrew the dart legs. The next pattern transformation was to redo the neckline as you can see in the image. But again, you can make your own adjustments. And for the back of the bodies, I only modified the shoulder length to match my front. This is how my bodies look in the end. Keep in mind that this is a, not a pattern, it's a block. So you have to include seam allowance. And if you want your bodies to have a lining, you can use the same pattern. Second, I moved to the skirt pattern. And I started with the front. I cut out the dart and from the dart apex I drew a line parallel with the green line. I rotate the side part closing only half of the dart. I added more length to the skirt to make it midi. You can make it as long as you prefer. And I moved the dart to the side and I redraw a new hip line. If you want your skirt to have a lining, you can use this pattern for the lining before adding the extra fabric for the pleats. I added more centimeters to make the pleats. You can add as much as you want. For more or wider pleats, you can add more centimeters. I made two pleats and split them, as you can see. I repeated the same steps to make the back of the skirt, excepting the fold. I added the same length and I kept a small dart. This is how the pattern of the skirt looks. I also added pockets to my dress with the following measurements. The last step was to make the sleeves. I split my sleeve into 5 equal pieces. I added to the bottom of the sleeve 4 cm between them. I redrew the new sleeve. And I made cuffs with the following measurements. To make sure your cuffs fit, you should measure your wrist circumference. And here is how the sleeve pattern looks in the end. To summarize, we have the final pattern for the bodies, sleeve and cuffs the body's lining pattern, the skirt pattern and pocket, and optional the pattern of the skirt lining. Don't forget to add a seam allowance between 1 and 2 cm. And this is it. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and if you have any questions or advice, as usual my comment section is open. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and share with other Swiss enthusiasts. Until next time, let's find inspiration.